If the roots are healthy, the tree will remain healthy. Isn't it true? The same thing applies to women. The women are considered the root of our system. Okay. Now, so if a woman is healthy, it has a high chances that her entire family, her entire generation and the nation and the community will remain healthy. Hi, I'm Dr. Tanvi Patel, endocrinologist from Mumbai. Today on 28th May, we all are celebrating International Women's Health Day. On this occasion, I would like to talk about various stages of changes which a woman undergoes through and what all care she needs to take care. First, very important, you need to know what is normal. So if you know what is normal, then if there is any problem happens in it, you know that it is abnormal. So knowing the normality is very important. The first stage of change happens is the puberty. Puberty is the age between 8 to 13 years in a girl's life during which lot of secondary sexual characteristics is going to develop depending on her hormone levels. So during this age group, she will start having a breast development, she will start having a hair over her private body area and very important menstrual cycle. The very first menstrual cycle in a life of a woman is called as a menarche. If this any of these changes happens earlier to 8 years of age or after 13 years of age, please speak with your doctor. If there is any health reasons, then please treat it accordingly. Now next is a menstrual cycle. Now this menstrual cycle after the puberty for 1 to 2 years might remain little irregular which is completely normal. During this age group again the women become very conscious of their weight and sub and without the knowledge of the family members she might doing a crash dieting or maybe doing excessive exercise this can also make her periods little irregular so regularity of the periods is very important besides this there can be a various reasons for the irregular periods like a thyroid drop problems or hormonal problem like a prolactin hormone issues or a polycystic ovarian syndrome so this is the second menstrual cycle stage. Third stage of a life is a pre-marriage uh, counseling. So once a girl decides to get married, it is very important for her to undergo pre-marriage counseling and get herself completely tested whether she has any health related issues. Now this can be issues of the uterus, issues of the fallopian tube or issues of the ovary. So check with the anatomy of these organs. Besides that, check the hormone levels. Once the marriage happens, now the girl is a sexually active. So she has a very high chances of getting pregnant. So if you and your husband decides not to have a child immediately after the marriage, please speak with your doctor and know what all options you have for the contraceptive. For the women who has never had a children, for such women we usually advise uh, either a mechanical barriers like a condoms or a oral contraceptive pills. Please speak with your doctor and decide any of the option out of these two. After once the woman decides that she wants to have a child, okay, that is the time uh, and if the woman gets pregnant that is the time you need to have lot of amount of the protein calcium iron folic acids in your diet and a vitamin d for a maintaining a normal and healthy pregnancy during this stage regular exercise is very important to prevent development of any gestational diabetes which is a special kind of a diabetes happens during the pregnancy or a high blood pressure during the pregnancy again there are high chances of having a thyroid problems so make sure that you keep checking uh, your hormone levels and your sugar levels during the pregnancy i will personally advise that you consult your doctor or a gynecologist and go for a hospital delivery now when you go for the delivery option you have a two main options one is a normal vaginal delivery and second is a surgical delivery which is a which is a uh, um, 
your cesarean section. So your doctor will be the right one to decide that what mode of delivery will be right for you at the very end moment because situations do change during the pregnancy. Now once you have delivered a child, the next stage of life happens that is the lactation, that is the milk stage. It is very important for a mother to feed uh, the first milk which is a colostrum to the newborn baby. At many cities and many uh, villages, they say that this colostrum is not a right thing for a child, but it is a complete myth. Please do not speak here or please do not believe in that. The first milk of a mother, which is a colostrum, is a very important for the child because this has a lot of beneficial immunity boosting cells which protects a child from a lifelong of many, many health problems. So colostrum is a must and very important for a, every newborn baby. Now when you are going to do a breastfeeding a child, a breastfeeding also keeps you and protects you from many unwanted cancers in the future like a breast cancer, ovarian cancer, uterus and a cervix cancer. So my advice is to feed your child, newborn baby for up to 6 months exclusive breastfeeding nothing else except the mother's milk. During this time, it is very important for a mother also to look after her extra nutrition which is there in terms of her iron and calcium and a high protein diet. Also during the lactation time, there is a very high level of the prolactin hormone in a woman's body and because of this high level of the prolactin, you might experience for 6 to 9 months, you will not get your regular menstrual cycle. During this time, if at all a woman is a sexually active, she has a little less chances of being pregnant. However, this is not 100% contraceptive. So if this time, if you are sexually active, I will advise you to use a, some kind of a mechanical barrier like condoms to prevent an unwanted pregnancy. Ideally, the spacing between the two children should be of two to two, two and a half years. So do not plan your pregnancy immediate after the delivery. Next stage is the after this lactation is done. Uh, next is the, if a woman after the marriage decides that she doesn't want a child for a time being, of course, the family planning is the one side of the spectrum. The other side of a spectrum is the infertility. So after the marriage, if you're regularly sexually active and for one year of without using any contraceptive and a regular sexual activity, if you are having difficulty in conceiving and getting pregnant, then it might be a possibility that you are undergoing poor infertility. Remember, infertility is the issue of a couple and not only of a woman. There can be a male factor also which can be a hindering factor for you to getting pregnant. So speak to your infertility specialist or a gynecologist or an endocrinologist doctor that what is the reason for the infertility. Most of the time this infertility can be because of the very treatable conditions like a thyroid problem, high prolactin hormone levels or a PCOS. If any of these issues are there, they are very well treatable and manageable. So please do not get disheartened about it and speak to your doctor about the same. Now, the other side of the spectrum, especially in a developing uh, cities and a metro cities where a woman is very career oriented and they do not want to plan a pregnancy immediate after the marriage, they want a late pregnancy. In such situations, you have another option that is egg freezing in which you can freeze your healthy eggs in a scientific conditions and utilize them later in the life. So this is the other side of the spectrum which of a woman's life. Now talking about the reproductive age group, now let's talk about it a little bit nearly around 40 years of age. During this 40 years of age, 40 to 45 years, the women undergoes through another change and this is perimenopause and menopause. Lot of other hormones start changing during such time period. So it is very normal for a menopausal woman to experience the changes in your mood, changes in your uh, energy level, you might feel more tired, you might experience some weight gain or you might have a lot of hot flashes or feeling very heat, you are intolerant to heat 
okay you are having a dryness in your private area which is vaginal dryness or you might experience pain while doing a sexual activity all these problems happen due to the changes in the hormone which happens during the menopause so menopause at the very same time puts you at a very high risk of osteoporosis this happens because of the sudden drop in the estrogen level of your hormone so make sure at the menopause age group you do consume a lot of amount of calcium and a vitamin d of course under the medical supervision now so this is the changes during the menopause time next very important stages is the cancer which is prevalent in our country that is the two cancers one is a breast cancer second is a cervix cancer let's talk about the breast cancer the breast cancer which is again a very common cancer for this you can do a very simple do uh, test that is a breast self-examination you can do it at your home what you need to do is just undress your top and uh, and top and uh, stand in front of the mirror examine both of your breasts and stand in front of the mirror and check whether your both the breasts are same in size or if there is any difference in the size check for the nipples if there is a nipple problem or if there is a discharge from the nipple check if you are having any lump in your or a, a lump in your breast if you have any such symptom do speak to your doctor get a mammography done you can detect it at an earlier stage Second is a cancer is a cervix cancer again a very common in our country for that it's a very simple test you can do that is a pap smear this pap smear is a very simple test it is a and this will give you an idea whether you are having any cancer chances or not again for the cervical cancer there are certain vaccines which are available which I will advise you to give it to yourself or even your daughter especially when she when she gets married. Okay. So these are two things. Now besides all this, the women are prone to get having a certain health problems like anemia which happens due to the loss of the blood during the menstruation. So make sure that you are taking iron tablet if at all you are having anemia. Besides that calcium and vitamin D is very important for the healthy bones. If you are smoking, I advise you not to do that because that will uh, have some issue during your, preg uh, during your conceiving time. And of course, if you are pregnant, you are not supposed to be smoking because that will put your child at risk. Besides that, do check your blood sugars regularly and your hormone levels, especially thyroid and prolactin. These hormones have a very important role in your overall well-being. I hope my video has helped you and getting some knowledge about the women and our health. If you have any query and concerns, you can reach out to me. Okay. And um, if you want to be connected with me so that you can have more such videos of health topics, you can like my page on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Thank you very much. Once again, Dr. Tanvi Mayur Patel, endocrinologist from Mumbai.